hello guys today in this video I'm going to show you how we can create a web API in dotnet 6 so first of all what I will do I will open with visual studio okay and make sure that you have installed dotnet 6 in your laptop or MacBook okay so then over there I will click on new and here I will choose app and here I will click API and you can see a project template for creating a dotnet core application with example controller for restful HTTP services this template can also be used for dotnet core MVC view and controller okay that means this template API tom template can be used for a normal MVC application as well as creating the web API and here from here we can select multiple language if you want to create with F sharp or C sharp so I am going to create with C sharp so I will click C sharp and I will click on continue here I will select target framework at 6.0 okay and here I will keep everything I selected configure for HTTPS which controllers okay and enable for open API support and I will click on continue here I will give a name so right now here I am going to give a name as uh, core 6 okay from here you can choose any other location where you want to keep it but I will keep in the default folder okay okay and here I will click on create and you can see here now it is uh, created so let's let me expand this and you can see by default it has given here the controller which is weather forecast controller here okay and this is app setting okay and there is nothing right now just uh, logging information and allowing the all hosts and this app setting we can use for development I mean for development environment we can put our configurations here okay we can put at any place I mean in any app setting .json file okay and we have program.cs file here and <clears throat> these are the default things available and you can see now these like middlewares are already here in program.cs file and we don't have any startup.cs file as we were having it earlier versions okay in like .NET 3 or 3.1 or 2 or 2.1 or 2.2 okay but in .NET 6 we don't have the started file everything we have in program.cs file okay so yeah in like in the next video series we will be discussing all these things why we don't have the startup file here okay and what are the benefits or like advantage and disadvantages of uh, removing the startup file from .NET 6 so now uh, uh, so here you can see we are using uh, I mean adding the controller here in the program.cs class I mean program or we can say main method okay our program.cs file here and here we are also adding the swagger configuration we are adding here endpoint API explorer okay and here we are using builder and this app is getting configured for development uh, and if it is development then we are going to use swagger and swagger ui okay and in the last we are using the run so to run the application to move forward basically bypass by going through all the middlewares okay so and let's check whether forecast.cs class so this, this is the default or we can say already created class or given class when we are going to create a project in .NET 6 and this is where the forecast controller which in which we have basically it is inheriting the controller base class so we can check it by pressing f12 okay 
or we can simply go to implementation okay so yeah or okay so basically we can also see the references so this is only one reference here in the controller base okay so basically weather forecast is getting in controller is getting inherited from I mean access uh, the from the controller base class okay and you can see the base class for an MVC controller without view support okay that means this this cannot have any view with this controller okay and this is the uh, we can say a defined variable here and here we are using the logger in this controller and here this is the uh, constructor for a weather forecast controller and we are injecting here the logger okay and by default this is a get method which will be called automatically to get all the weather okay uh, and it will be displayed in the form of array as json response okay so we'll check it okay and in the json response all these values will be coming okay from this class so let me run this by this run play button here okay and default browser is safari here in my case if you are using windows then in your you will have a different browser maybe microsoft edge or google chrome and you can see by default it has started the swagger ui okay loaded the swagger ui and we can simply run the uh, api so this is weather forecast api you can see here so once i will click on here we have a button try it out i will click on this try it out and we have here the next button which is execute once i will click on it then we can see the response here so this is the response actually date temperature city and the summary so these things are coming in the response okay and the same thing you can find here this is the summaries okay so these summaries are coming from here okay and mm, yeah this is response header okay and we are having here the response code success okay and <coughs> we have another schema which is weather forecast we can simply check what are the i can say like a class or we can say the properties it is having okay in this api uh, when I, this is basically the model class so we can find it here okay so this same thing is coming here in the schema okay so mm, this is all i guess uh, uh, like uh, like this you can create your first api in dotnet 6 so we will be discussing more detail in all the like dotnet 6 features and functionalities which we are uh, it is like what it, it is offering us for development of an api or application okay and this is the frameworks nothing to do with these things right now okay so we can also update swiss buckle if you want you can also update it So yeah, I will stop it right now. So that is all guys. Thank you for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.